start by saying hello to my new friends that I met at the Midwest Voiceover Conference in Columbus, Ohio recently. Got a chance to do a couple of presentations there and felt like part of the family. Thank you so much for making me feel so welcome. Now let's get on with lesson number 19 in the Adobe Audition Basics series. Let's play with loops. This should be fun. No, uh, not Fruit Loops. Music Loops. Like this thing here. It's about a four and a half second clip of, obviously, drums. And what we're going to do is turn that four and a half second clip into a 30 second music piece that we can use underneath a voice track. Let's get started. I chose this clip because the loop is going to be seamless. The way it is constructed, this, this piece is constructed, it'll work perfectly. And let me show you by previewing it in the edit screen. We do that not by hitting play, but by hitting play looped. Perfect. Now we need to place it into the multi-track. And we do that by clicking multi-track or F12 on your keyboard. All right, let's pull this clip. It's called Slick Funk. <laughs> and pull it to the beginning. Now we need to duplicate it. How do we do that? Right click on it and find the word duplicate. Now we've got about four and a half seconds there, but we need to add another 25 seconds or so. So let's put in the number five for how many times we want to duplicate that clip. And let's see where that ends. Hmm, right around 28. So that's not going to be enough. We need to add one more duplicate, come back to duplicate, and change that number to one. Now, Let's zoom out. Okay. And now we're ending around, as you see down here, 32, a little over 32. So we'll fix that later on. First, let's mix it down. Edit, mix down the new file, stereo. And now we've got a new music piece or a new bed that is about 30 seconds long. Let's give it a try. Works for me. Now, if you want to make it 30 on the nose, all you have to do is either fade it out or just clip it at 30. Here's how you fade though. Up here, uh, let's get the, the cursor at the very end there. Up here is a little box that says fade out. Click on it, hold it down, and then drag it any old way you like. It's a snake, huh? And right there looks probably like it's going to work. By the way, if you ever have any suggestions or questions, drop me a note here on YouTube or at Google Plus or Facebook, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'm Scott Fortney. Till next time, join me on the Facebook group Inside Adobe Audition.